Today's Monday, July 19th, 2021. My name is Alex with the Corporate Cowboys podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates. After all, it is Monday, first business day of the week. But let's be real here business never sleeps. Start your work week off with a, uh, a small prayer. A small prayer. Make it short and sweet. Pray for your enemies. And you might wonder why. Why the fuck would I pray for my enemies? These are motherfuckers that I'm trying to eliminate. These are motherfuckers that I'm trying to kill. These are motherfuckers that I wouldn't mind not seeing. (laughs) No, no. You you have to be professional. You have to be diplomatic about it. After all, you are in business together until you aren't, right? It's only until push comes to shove. So you have to learn to operate together. At least that's how uh, that's how I would like to be uh, treated. Whether or not my enemies pray for me, whether or not my enemies pray for me, you have to pray for yours. You have to pray for yours so that you don't feel as bad when you have to actually squeeze the trigger. You're much better off taking a moment to relax yourself, taking a moment to meditate on the the potentials for the week take a moment and contemplate the shoes that your enemy has to fill in order to, to qualify as your enemy I mean it's not for nothing that you consider them the opposition or the competition or the enemy it isn't for it isn't for nothing So taking a moment and and reflecting on that so that that way you're able to align your actions with, 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 I want to say peacemaking or opportunity creating. Because let's be real, it's impossible to please everyone all the time, but it is possible to keep conflict to a minimum. It is possible. Conflict management, you can prevent things before they happen. You can address them when they do. And some might say, no, it's impossible. I mean, you're always going to have problems or issues. There's some folks who don't do a damn fucking thing. And uh, they, I guess for lack of a better term, don't have any problems. But then they don't have any fucking ambitions either. So your problems, your issues, your constraints... are realized only to the extent that you are ambitious. There's going to be constraints on your ambition. And that's a problem. That's an issue that you have to realize. That, that That's an issue that you have to realize that working toward, working, working in... in, in in promotion, hold on, working in advancement of your ambition, working to get ahead, working to uh, manifest your ambition, it's going to lead to some grinding. It's going to lead to some tension. 
I mean, that's not an unreal assertion. I'm like, that's reality. And when you do this, when you do this, you'll recognize that you doing something to better yourself might well inconvenience somebody else who's doing dick. And before you know it, they become the opposition. They become the enemy. They want to they want to stop you from doing something. They they want to hold you down. If it's a a good idea that you want to push through corporate, they're going to they're going to sandbag you. They're going to suppress it. It's only it's only natural. <laughs> right? When in reality, it's you who is doing the work. It's you who has the idea. And you're supposed to be on the same team. So I guess what I'm saying is that even within your organization, you could have opposition, you could have enemies. And they might be your very own teammates. So you never know who your opposition might be. You, you, you never know who your, who your opposition may, uh, may be revealed to be because they just reveal themselves. They, they come out of the woodwork. When before, when previously, in the past, you had such a great working relationship. So yeah, pray for your opposition. Pray for your team. Just pray, dude. Just fucking pray. If it ain't for yourself, it's for somebody else. It'll get you in tune with what you want accomplished this week. It'll keep you focused on what it is you prayed for. It'll align your 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 consciousness, your your train of thought. It'll align your train of thought so as to uh, so as to be aligned. It'll, it'll hold on. It'll align your train of thought so as to be congruent with your prayer. And in that way, I mean, you'll be manifesting reality. You'll be taking what you prayed for and making it reality. Obviously, you want to set realistic goals. You want to set uh, smart goals, if you will. And so it becomes imperative to that end that you don't actively go out and try to make enemies. That's, That's immaturity at work that's not professional going out there to actively so um, going out there to actively sow seeds of, of bullshit nah because then then you take things uh, you take nature and you push it to an emotional level where the gratification that you get, the the pleasure that you derive from starting shit actually becomes counterproductive. And, uh, and yeah, your, your enemy, the enemy you want to make would probably be well within their right to eliminate you as a problem. (laughs) Funny how that, how I turned that table, huh? Um, and likewise, the same thing goes for for somebody within your circle or somebody outside your circle. If they approach you on some on some other bullshit that isn't work related, that isn't professional, that isn't uh, edifying to the both of you, and strengthening the relationship, it, it isn't it isn't worth considering. It isn't worth your time. 
It's a problem. It's a fucking problem. If you haven't visited uh, the page on Instagram, by all means do so. It's incorporating.associates underscore IA. And uh, this project is a nonprofit. And it will be, it'll remain that way. If you want to donate to the cause, if you want to place a bet, you have some disposable income. And uh, you want to place a bet on humanity? You can do that with us. Donate. PayPal.me. There's a Cash App. There's a Venmo. You'll find the links somewhere affiliated with uh, Corporate Cowboys. Come on, you're smart enough. You can find the link. On Patreon, if you want to subscribe. Do something monthly, and uh, I believe there are tiers now. So on that tiered system, I mean we have just the basic, uh, basic subscribership. And if you want something slightly more premium, you can expect a gift later on. And for that, we'll likely take uh, addresses and whatnot to send gifts to you. To send gifts to. Uh, Subscribers. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what got into me. I do know what got into me to pray. It's something I experienced this weekend. It's something I experienced last week, actually, that I felt uh, I needed to think on. I needed to think on and, and reflect on. And that reflection actually became a prayer because of a misunderstanding because of a misunderstanding um, I almost got into hot water and it's not that I'm afraid you know of some hot water I'm no stranger to catching flack but what I didn't want to have happen was uh, irreparable harm to be caused to this work and relationship one that I actually do value and need to keep intact in order for uh, for future transactions to go smoothly. Sometimes you'll have to dig into your fucking pocket. And uh, make your prayer a reality. Sometimes you'll have to manifest your own miracles. That's what having the power to be means. Um, the power to be, the power to do. And I'm really appreciative. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. For the simple fact that because I know I can do something, I'm able to do something. And that's something productive. And that's to fix something counterproductive. I'm also blessed to be able... I'm also blessed with the know-how to, to do it in a diplomatic and a professional manner without letting it get to my head, without having it weigh me down, without having it slow me down. I enjoy solving problems. I enjoy addressing conflict. I get a rush from it. I probably got a couple wrinkles from it. But overall, the feeling from fixing an issue, it's incomparable to anything else. 
Tupac said, uh, revenge is the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. And he, he didn't say it was second to getting pussy. He said next to getting pussy. Right? So, you know, one might, one might say like, oh, it goes pussy first and then next is revenge. But no, I, I myself believe that they're, that they're side by side on par with one another. And uh, in that same vein, revenge, in that same vein of revenge, if you want to have it not be so fucking bloody, it's just conflict resolution. It's just conflict management. Like, that's the type of shit corporate cowboys get paid for. Whereas on the street, one might call it revenge. But in corporate, it's just conflict management, risk management, conflict resolution. And from there, it's it's available in so many different lines of work. Legal only being one of them. There is also uh, extra legal. <laughs> But still, that, all of that revolves around the person, the individual. Revolves around the person, the individual, capable of doing something and actually doing something. And for that, you have to plan. You have to have a plan in mind. You have to have a vision. And it requires a little prayer. Requires a little predictability, a little control. That's where hope comes from. I hope it goes my way. I hope it goes this way. I hope the the outcome is favorable. Because you have a notion, you have an idea. And everything in between, from now until then, may or may not be a fucking problem that you have to address. Have a nice week.